What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwid and I am back again today bringing you guys a new video and today guys it is Madden 15 time on my channel. I know it has been a few days since the game came out and I greatly apologize guys. I have been absolutely bombarded at work. I have not had the opportunity to put together much for Madden 15 Ultimate Team yet. But I promise you there will be plenty of Madden 15 content coming out in the next couple of weeks here. And uh, through the entirety of Madden 15 if I can continue it with the schedule that I've got of course. Do have the baby coming out in about a week now. So there might be a little lull in there, but I promise you guys up until that point and all around it I will make sure to have plenty of Madden content on here for you guys So with that being said what I want to do today is go ahead and show you guys what I've been doing so far on Madden 15 Ultimate Team as you guys can see in the top right corner of the screen I am at 78 overall not spectacular <laughs> um you know, my team isn't great at this point. I haven't had much of an opportunity to play, but we're going to try and change that today. What I'm going to be doing for you guys today is opening a gold pack, which contains, I think it said like five or three or five gold players and some silver players. I, I forget exactly what it is. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, five gold and five silver players. So that should be a decent little upgrade for my team. And then we are also going to open up a pro pack bundle, uh, a 15 pack bundle for you guys. So I hope that you enjoy that when it happens. But at, let's start off here with the team that we currently have going into the pack openings. So at quarterback, we have my dude, Mike Vick. He is the starter. As you can imagine, I like to have the mobile quarterbacks. He's always been one of my favorites. He has 89 speed, uh, 95 throw power, and he actually has really good throw accuracy deep. He has 87 throw accuracy deep, which is really, really good. Uh, especially for a 77 overall card. Now, I could play this Alex Smith in its place, but I don't like the fact that it's only 76 speed. It doesn't give me the mobi mobility that I like to have. So... Uh, with that being said, we are going to continue on now and look at the rest of the positions here. At running back, we've got Toby Gerhardt, which I, uh, this is a miserable card. I actually prefer to use Jeff Demps, who's like, what, 50-something overall? Uh, let me see here. Yeah, 54 overall just because he's so much faster. Toby Gerhardt's 84 speed. That's pretty much brutal. Uh, thankfully, I can just use him in solos. Uh, another player that's decent to use here for me uh, is Niall Davis. And, you know, sometimes I'll mix him in as opposed to Toby Gerhardt when I'm just doing these solos. And that's really all I've done so far. I haven't played any head-to-head -head games or anything like that. At our wide receiver positions, we do have Golden Tate, uh, Malcolm Floyd. In the slot, we have Sammy Watkins, which is a nice little card. Uh, on the outside, the other outside, we've got Santonio Holmes, who I really like so far. He's actually quicker than I was expecting him to be. Um, he has 90 speed, which is pretty decent. Uh, pretty good attributes overall, as you can see here. If you compare him to the Golden Tate, he's a pretty damn beastly card, so I like to use him. On, a, on our offensive line, we don't really have a lot yet. We've got a 65 overall player here at the left tackle position, 75. And then we've got Manny Ramirez in the middle, who is probably our best offensive lineman at 82 overall. Uh, a 74 overall here, and then uh, Gilbert here at the right tackle position. Not a terrible right tackle for this point in the game, but not a great one either. Uh, other people have told me to potentially use Michael Orr because Michael Orr, I guess, has really nice run blocking attributes. But I don't know. I'm, I'm not uh, overly impressed with any of his attributes just at first glance. So let's see here. Uh, then at tight end, we do also have Owen Daniels and Scott Chandler. I run a lot of two tight end sets, as you guys know. At least I did in Madden 25. So I'm expecting to do that again here in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Moving on to the defense, at the uh, cornerback positions, we have Janoris Jenkins, which is an 81 overall, and I really like that card so far. He's done a great job for me. In the slot corner position, we have Byron Maxwell, who is 80 overall. And then at the other uh, corner position, I have this Richard Sherman, and I don't really know how I got this. It just randomly showed up for me. I'm sure plenty of you guys have it as well. Uh, so I haven't even had a chance to play with that card really yet, but uh, I imagine that it's probably pretty good. It does only have 86 speed, though, so that's not very good. But some of the other attributes that it has are really nice, such as the 81 press, uh, 80 play rec is good as well, and 84 zone. Not too bad. So uh, at first glance, I do like that card. Um, I really haven't had much of a chance to play with it, though, like I said. 
decent defensive line here. Uh, Linball Joseph is probably the best player on the defensive line. Uh, not really anything spectacular, but he does have 93 strength and an 87 power move, so pretty decent. We're going to be looking to upgrade that defensive line a little bit. Hopefully, we can get some pass rushers in there. Now, at our linebacker positions, this is where my team uh, has the, its best player, and that is Clay Matthews. That's the best card that I've opened up so far in Madden 20 or Madden. I almost said Madden 25 in Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Uh, yeah, so 85 overall for him. He is a pretty much uh, one of the best linebackers in this game so far that I've found. 84 speed, pretty good. 92 acceleration, which I definitely like to see. The 94 pursuit is excellent as well. And as you can imagine, he has great pass rushing attributes as well. Then in the middle, I am actually going to be running. Uh, I don't know why it reset like this, but I actually like to run um, LRB here in the middle. I, I don't know why that reset itself. Just because he's a lot faster than Angerer. He has 81 speed. Um, and I, I just, I always look for the speed. <laughs> I just always look for the speed. And he's also a little bit uh, better in strength. Not, not great, but uh, overall I like him a little bit better. So just because of the speed, like I said. Then, uh, let's see here. In our safety positions, we have Matt Elam. Now, uh, Matt Elam has done a pretty good job for me so far. Uh, I did actually put him in over Will Hill, who is a higher overall. And again, that's because of the speed. He has 88 speed. Will Hill, 83 speed is pretty much awful. So that's not going to be a player that starts for me anytime soon. Ed Reed at my other safety position at an 81 overall. This is probably the last time we're ever going to see an Ed Reed uh, in a Madden game. So it's kind of cool that we've got him early in the game in a decent card that's actually moderately usable here at 88 speed. Of course, he is also good as a ball hawk still. So definitely like the Ed Reed card. As our kick returner positions, uh, I'm actually just rocking uh, the the Jeff Demps here at the kick return positions. And then we've got uh, Niall Davis as our third down back and some randoms here as our punter and kicker. So that's the team so far, guys. And now we are going to go in and purchase a couple of packs here. So the first one is going to be this gold value pack, which is going to cost me. I'm not going to open it with 75,000 coins. That's so ridiculous that they do that. I don't know why they do that. Uh, but the uh, 100 points is about a dollar. So I'm going to go ahead here. I never spent a dollar in Madden 25 Ultimate Team, but I actually bankrolled just a little bit for myself at the beginning here of Madden 15 to get my team off the ground. So I've got a, a few dollars to spend anyway. So we're going to start off here with the gold value pack, and I'm going to go ahead and purchase that. All right, guys, so we have our 100 points, and it is time to open this gold pack. As it says, you can only buy this once. So this is the one and only time that I'm going to be opening this throughout the year. First card, garbage. Second card, Sharice Wright. Eh, not great. Uh, Luke Jokel as a left tackle. We did need a left tackle upgrade, so that's pretty decent. Sterling Moore, Dijon Gomes, Jake Locker. There you go, Ryan. Mike Jenkins, Jamie Collins, Eric Walden, and Marcus Martin. So really not a whole lot here to, to be excited about. Best card is definitely Luke Jokel, and that's going to be a decent upgrade for me. Probably worth the $1 at this point in the game uh, for me to get a significantly better left tackle. Because as you guys know, I love to run off the edge, and that isn't going to be changing anytime soon. So Luke Jokel is going to uh, definitely go ahead and become the starter. And everybody else is just going to go into my binder for right now anyway. So let's go ahead now and purchase these uh, pro packs because I know that a lot of people are looking forward to seeing some pack openings here on my channel and I promised you guys I would be doing some pack openings so what we're gonna do like I said is a 15 pack bundle and that is 2200 uh, points which is what $20 I believe uh, worth of coins uh, or worth of points so let's go ahead and purchase that Okay, we've got the packs purchased, and it is time to go ahead and start opening them. Here we go, guys. 15 pro packs. This is definitely, uh, like I said, this is the first time that I've ever opened packs with money, so I'm hoping that we get something decent. Right off the bat, we get a Joik Bell, which is not too bad. This card, actually, I think is pretty decent, so... Uh, let's take a look at it just for comparison's sake. Ah, oh, man, it's only 85 speed. I was really hoping for something faster. That is pretty much going to be not very usable for me. I'm not disappointed to see that. I was hoping he'd be a little bit faster. I know he's a, a good pass catcher out of the backfield. So didn't really get much here in this first pack, so that sucks. But let's go ahead and move on to the next pack. And guys, unfortunately, I've been uh, hearing that there are uh, just a ton of 
of um, of players that are people who play Madden Ultimate Team who are not getting good luck out of their packs. And I apologize, guys. Like I said, I haven't really opened much for packs, so I didn't really understand what was happening there. But let's open up this second pack. And like I said, man, that, that really sucks that people just aren't getting much out of their packs. I'm hoping that I'm able to get something decent in some of these. Uh, Akeem Jordan's our gold card for this one. Not much to be excited about there. Next pack. Jordan Matthews. Eh. Really not a whole lot yet. Benny Logan as a D-tackle. Cole Beasley. Oh, look at that beast. Look at that beast. Look at that dude. He is crazy looking. All right. So, so much so much garbage so much garbage there's just a, a ton of completely unusable items in these packs it seems like and that is not cool very very disappointing but hopefully we're able to just make it back with just one great opening hey kj Wright, that sounded too bad of a card there 78 overall i know there uh there are definitely worse players in the game than this one anyway so that's probably the best pack their uh, card that we've opened up so far sadly enough I just have some bad luck with packs in, in this game and and really uh, toward the end of Mutt, I was not having great luck with packs either, but oh well. Uh, okay, so we got an 83 here with Lawrence Timmons, and that is definitely the best middle linebacker that I, I think that I've opened, so I'm, I'm excited about that. That's That should be a good one. Let's see here. Let's just compare him real quickly here. Yeah, he's definitely the best middle linebacker that I've got. He's got 83 speed, which is a little lower than I would love to see, but still um, good enough to be the, the starter on my defense going forward. So, hey, we opened up a starter. We've got a left tackle open. We've got a middle linebacker starting now uh, in Lawrence Timmons. So, not too bad. Could be worse. Could be worse. And a bunch of garbage other than that, unfortunately. Cowboys offensive playbook. I'm actually rocking right now with the uh, Eagles playbook. Oops, sorry, guys did it again i apologize i will uh hop back in here but um yeah so the eagles playbook they they took out things like the uh quarterback wrap and a couple of things like that that i really liked but they uh they have some excellent formations so eltron verna gets opened up here and this is probably going to be my brand new cornerback number one I think on my defense, Eltron Werner had an amazing season last year. Um, I was absolutely shocked that the Titans let him walk in free agency, but um, I mean, he he's uh, definitely, I think, going to do a great job in Tampa. Uh, I love that he is, uh, he's a player who doesn't really get a whole lot of hype, but he played amazing last year. If you look at the raw numbers, Eltron Werner was one of the elite cornerbacks in the NFL last year. So uh, just judging by the numbers here, I don't see any reason why I wouldn't play this Eltron Werner over Richard Sherman. Uh, same speed, better acceleration, better awareness, better agility, better or same man coverage, better zone. Uh, the press is pretty ugly, so that's something to think about. But Everything else, I think, kind of goes in the favor of Beltron Burner. So right now, I'm going to bench Richard Sherman. Sherman will probably end up playing the slot for me, I imagine. Um, but yeah, so I think that's probably the way that I'm going to go with that. Eh, uh, I'll worry about that later. I, I hate that it will only allow me to do it on one player, to bench one player. Okay, so not much else in that pack, but... Like I said, the Altron Werner is a great pull for us. Uh, that's definitely going to help improve our team. Next pack. And I will get down the, the pressing of square, I promise you guys. But it does take me a little bit sometimes to get used to things. Come on. All right, Orlando Franklin as a right tackle. That is not bad at all. 85 overall. He is definitely uh, our best offensive lineman now. So that is great news. Um, I only had one other 85 overall player, which was Clay Matthews. So definitely a nice improvement there. Moving forward. Come on. Oh, Robert Ayers. I was hoping for something really awesome there. I've still not opened up an elite card. I'm not having much luck so far in this uh, pack opening uh, with any elites. I want to see some red. Come on. Ugh. All right. Martellus Bennett, though, not too bad. He could probably be my starting tight end. Let me compare him real quick here. Yeah, he's definitely going to be the starter over Owen Daniels. Um, 
so much better in run blocking. The speed is a little bit slower, but I, I can almost guarantee you that Martellus Bennett's going to be better for my playing style. So yeah, he is definitely going to be promoted here to the starter. So we're getting at least some starters for my team anyway. I know other people are looking at this and going, oh my gosh, this team's horrible. But, you know, everybody has to start somewhere in this game. And this is where I'm at at this point. Like I said, I, I've been so busy and I really haven't had enough time to play Mutt yet. I'm starting to get into it now, though. So, um, ready to improve my team. Let's take a quick look here at Kendrick Lewis. I don't remember what his numbers would be like. Yeah, too slow. He is not going to bench uh, Ed Reed. So, not much there in that pack. We've got five more left, it looks like. Five more chances here to pull one elite card. That's all I want is just one. Pretty much any position I'd be happy with. Ah, Brian Hartline. Brutal. That's okay, though. We're, we're going to continue moving on here. Come on. Ah, Akeem Hicks. Yuck. Not, not a good pack opening here. I'm really not having a whole lot of luck here in this uh, pack opening set here. We did get the 185 overall, so I can't complain too much. But I would really love to get just one elite. Another right tackle, unfortunately, probably going to be useless to me because I got Orlando Franklin. Come on, guys. Come on. Uh, Tyson Claybolt. I am just pulling right tackle gold after right tackle gold. That is so crappy because, uh, I mean, in this game, like they said in, the, uh, in that first introduction video... Some of the players, when you move them from position to position in the previous Madden games, would actually improve their overall. In this game, it's not like that anymore. I can't take that right tackle and put him at, like, left guard, for example, and make him better. So that kind of sucks. But um, anyway, let's see here what we get in this pack. Come on! Another right tackle! What is that? Four straight packs with a right tackle gold? Come on, Madden. Come on. You're, you're just trolling me at this point. This better be... I swear, they better give me a damn, um, uh, because I'm, I'm still going to open up one more pack here. They better open me up a damn elite card, seriously, in this final pack. I'm doing one with coins so that we get a clean 16 packs. So let's see here. Let's do it. 7,500 in coins. Come on. Big money, no whammies. Big money, no whammies. Let's go. Come on. All right. This is the final card. Should we go all the way backwards? go all the way backwards what do you think i'm gonna be getting guys if i get a right tackle i'm done i swear okay a middle linebacker still completely useless to my team oh well what are you gonna do i know i opened up some stuff that i can put into sets at least so that is a, a nice thing uh and with that being said guys that is gonna do it for this video i hope you enjoyed the first pack opening here on my channel for mutt 15 if you did make sure you press that like button below wish i could open up more for you guys but i promise you we will be opening up plenty more packs in the coming weeks here over the course of madden 15 ultimate team and uh beyond so thank you guys for tuning in i do appreciate it and i will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon